Hey, welcome back to GDPG, everybody. What's up? And we finally yeah. are back to recording Pragmatic Saga with all the new stuff. So we've got our green screen and yeah, everything. It's been a while, and you can tell because our beards have grown to show the <laughs> passage of time. Exactly. Okay, so uh, we skipped a fight by accident. Um, it's been a long time. Uh, we forgot to hit the record button, so you missed the fight at the top of the tower. Sorry about that. It's a good fight. It's a good tower. Uh, here we go. So uh, the clang of metal reaches you from the courtyard below. Muffled by the thick snow, you cursed. Quick, back down. Bring the live one. It's like starting a movie in medias res. It's a really effective way to... We're just going to keep going. We're doing this. We're just doing it. Uh, dreads line the battlefield. Weapons drawn. A fight seems inevitable. You take a quick head count. There seems to be 626 of them. That seems like a really specific number out of a quick head count. That's a really good point. Why hmm. Why tell us that? Why not just say about six? I don't know. I don't know. That is really weird. Maybe, Maybe they'll it's... answer our questions. In the, okay, so here, here's, the, here's, here's the question uh, where it actually, like, the first actual decision we have to make. Um, because charge, formations, hold them off, retreat, and oversee, mm. all of those are basically just numerical adjustments. So right. they roughly match us in number. If we go ahead and charge in, we're going to be equally matched in number, mm -hmm. which is a bad thing because it, then it's a tough fight. But it's a good thing then because we get lots of experience, so our characters are higher level and thus more likely to survive later fights. Well, charging also allows us to keep fighting more waves, right? You can always fight more waves. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always the option to fight more at the end. Unless you do, like, a retreat and then don't fight in the first place. Mm, okay. I mean, I feel like generally charge is not the worst option. No, charge is fine. Uh, I, they make it sound like a worse option than it is, so I'm just going to go ahead and rush into battle. I feel like that goes for more than just the warfare yeah. mechanics of yeah. this game. So those of you who, who, have been, who have been trying to pay attention to the theming of the sagas so far uh, may notice that ours is supposed to be the pragmatic saga, but a lot of the time we end up making decisions that like seem kind of dicky. I think the issue, I think the, the, the difference is the uh, the intention there. We're not doing this mm. to intentionally be assholes. It just so happens that the game rewards you for playing like a dick sometimes. Are you talking about fighting more waves? Yeah, I'm talking about just like the general attitude that we've taken oh. to approaching this thing. <laughs> I mean, no, I, I, I totally agree. Well, the idea is is that we're supposed to remove emotion from choices. Yes. Yeah. Um, and so that comes off dickish because, you know, that's usually how yeah. mean people behave. Yeah. But, you know. We're doing it to save lives. Yeah, man. And our own skins. And, you know, get, like, higher level stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which is, like, the way that you win. And we're just trying to win. We're not trying to... Like, you get the idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so there's a bunch of big dredge here. Uh, I think... <laughs> Total of five. So I've got Hacken and Gunalf on this side, and I think that's good. Well, first, let's find... Got kind of which, a which one of those guys here. have more defense and have more health. I assume the guys with the shields are probably going to be the more defense. 19, 11, 12, 18, 16, 11. So okay, these guys yeah. deal way less damage, but they're way harder to kill. So this guy right here is the single strongest, I think. 12, 18. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then 10, 15, and the 19, 11 guys behind him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Moger, who is... Alright, so Faisalt's injured, but I don't care about that, because Faisalt is just here to support Moger. All right, so that's that's what I'm gonna do then. I'm gonna set it up like this. Okay. So these three form my like weak flank with uh, Moger right here. He's just gonna walk forward and hit this guy for like seven points of armor, and then I'm just gonna try and chip him out. Fair enough. Um, Hacken is I gonna. Think, I think break definitely this knocking. Man. Yeah, knocking down that guy's health takes priority. I agree. I am. There you now go. Now you're nothing. <laughs> now you are worthless. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh. Eh. That's probably fine. Right. Yeah. It's probably fine. This battle's interesting, too, because I feel like... Lots of open ground. It's a lot of open ground, and it's actually a lot of... Um, it's sort of the same st structure of your... Like, you have the same types of characters, right? Yes. You have Big two guys. very armor-focused guys and two very heavy hitter-focused guys, and then, you know, the other couple of, like, you know, not that... Weak sauce assholes? You can say it. Well, I wanted to say weak sauce assholes, but... These losing... two up here, weak sauce assholes. Yeah, but Luden's awesome. Yeah, Luden's awesome, but he's not one of them. He's not one of the weak sauce assholes. I just dealt five armor damage to that guy. That was awesome. I that love Luden. Awesome. <laughs> uh, okay, this, unfortunately, since Gunolf doesn't have a whole lot of armor break, so I'm just going to start chipping down at the HP. Okay. I'll use other people's kill bonuses to uh, um, boost back up his mm. uh, exertion. Fair. Yeah, it's unfortunate that we lost the footage from 
or we never got the footage from the last battle because yeah. this battlefield is like Way the different. exact yeah. opposite of, of yeah. so uh, in the tower there's like two separate areas that are each a little narrow and are separated by a gap in the middle and your characters have to kind of feed around them but the enemies are these really agile uh, slinger uh, characters mm-hmm and it's their job to kind of like move away from you. Every time you, every time they take a hit, they've got an ability where they move away automatically. Um, does this, yeah, this one uh, draws aggro and I want to use that. Oh, I can't use that because I have to use it on an enemy. Okay, all right, never mind. Mm. Um, so yeah, this battlefield being wide open is actually much more dangerous um, in, in my opinion because it's so much easier to get surrounded. But if you act as a line like I've kind of done, then I don't know, maybe you mitigate some of that. Yeah, in, in a way I feel like um, I don't know. It almost involves a little bit more Two strategy. Hits. Two hits to this guy. God damn. <laughs> ah, all right. Um, but yeah, I, I actually kind of like that that way of looking at it because having the open field means that since so much more can happen, mm -hmm. that actually makes the strategy a lot more complex. Yep. Whereas in the last stage, where you know we had these narrow pathways to move along, yeah, um, the strategy actually becomes a lot more straightforward. It makes the battle tough in general because yeah. there's no way to work around the narrow path. Sure. Um, but, like, intellectually speaking, it actually doesn't require as much effort as this does. Um, even though having the open field almost feels relaxing. It feels like yeah. we're not confined. It's stressed. actually... I, I consider this a more challenging fight. Ah, shit. Reinforcements. Fuck. Getting surrounded. Oh, that's right, because it's the warfare. Yep. Getting surrounded and chipped down. Yeah, well, you know, more renown, right? Yeah, actually, that, that is the whole goal. Um, since characters can't, like, die in a traditional sense... Um, it's I, f I find that it's much better to do it this way. Uh, okay, I'm gonna break the last bit of armor off of this guy, and then from here it's just a straight up strength battle. <laughs> Every time. Oh, deflected. What's <laughs> up? What's up? Okay, uh, not even that strong, and I'm still dealing seven damage to you. Damn. I'm an injured level one character dealing half of your health to you. Nice oh, Luden can get in one. there. Luden can get in there. Uh, that's Faisal. I haven't had time to level him up. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, Luden is gonna get in here. <laughs> oh, look at him! Look at him! He's like a tiny little finisher. <laughs> look at you! You think you're going to summon some reinforcements? I think not. And you hit him oh, for one damage because oh. I crippled that guy earlier. I love it when I plan oh, ahead. Oh, beautiful! All right, so uh, I could nah because you're already cutting his health in half. So oh, if you am get another I? Hit on oh him. yeah. Easy peasy. I'm in squeezy. What? It's just simple math. That's what I like about the, the, the way that armor works in this. There's no, like, extensive defensive calculation that you have mm -hmm. to make. It's really just, like, do I have the health to hit him? Yeah, it's it's really straightforward. I think, really, the complexity of, of the battlefield strategy comes into play with um, movement. And yes. Placement. Um, because, because right here I fucked up, if you'll notice. I've left only a one range. Yeah, exactly. I could have done something different, and then I would have another attack here, and I wish I had done that. And especially since it's so goddamn difficult to line up the dredge however you want. Yeah. It's... With all this stuff, like, cluttering the battlefield, mm -hmm. it becomes incre in incredibly difficult to actually use a character's abilities properly, which that's, is that's, sometimes good. That's one reason I really, really like the abilities, like what Luden has, where he can, uh, the impale ability. I believe yeah. he kicks back the opponent one square. I think so. I don't know. I've never, I've, I've, the times where I've used it properly to its full effect are few and far between. <laughs> that's fair. It's... <laughs> I, I actually really like it, but because it only moves the enemy back one square, it actually allows you to get just that like nice fine-tuned positioning of yeah. the dredge and then beat the shit out of them. Um, all right, so we're in the uh, the final sort of phases here. Um, I can almost kill a couple of these guys. Um, well, which of those guys have a decent bit of health? Left? I'm actually going to stand here and prevent this guy from joining the fight in any meaningful way. That seems like a better use of my time. Unless he kills Luden, but... He will not kill Luden because I'm about to deal four damage to him. There. Now he's down to five. He can't really hurt me. I have 13. Yeah, that's um, He has 13? Who? Luden? Luden? Yeah, he's got uh, eight health and seven armor or something like that. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I yeah, see. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say, how the hell does he have 13 armor? <laughs> 13 <laughs> armor on Luden. <laughs> right. You're like, uh, you don't even have the God, body mass for that one. much armor. I hate it when they're at one, because it means another attack needs to go their way. All right, this guy... Yeah, but at the same time... Suck it. I feel like it's also kind of nice to have them with only one, because they also block the other opponents from True. reaching. True. How Ooh. would you feel if dead bodies caused, like, 
tiles on the ground. That would be a disaster. Right? A huge mess. Uh, I would not like that at all. Nathan and I recently played a game, um, Swords and Crossbones. That, yeah, I remember that. that. had a mechanic like that. Where the it, bodies formed like an obstacle? Yeah, exactly. And it, it was really interesting. I think it worked for that game. Um, but in a game like this, I feel like when there are so many targets in such a little space, yeah, it'd just be a disaster. Yeah, no way. Plus, I feel like on a battlefield, that doesn't really make sense that a body's going to really block you from moving. You step yeah. over it. Especially when you're like 13 feet tall or whatever. <laughs> yeah, right, like okay, sure, the dredge are huge, but because they're huge, you know, maybe if you're a dweeby little human, you just fight on top of them because they're so big. Okay, I'm gonna move here. I'm gonna take one more hit off this pipe. Uh, horn, sorry. Take one more hit off this 20 horn. 20% chance to miss, though. 20% chance to hit, you mean. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, it's worth it. I'll take it. Yeah, that's fair, especially toward the end of this battle. Yeah. I don't think we should fight another wave. Though. No, no, I'm, I'm far too injured for that, which is unfortunate, because that's really the primary way that you achieve experience. I haven't spent any time knocking this guy's armor down, so unfortunately he's still got full armor. Um, and at this point, it's not really worth it to... Come on. <laughs> at this point, I was going to say it's not really worth it because I'm just going to power through it, but I haven't been able to power through it. So it looks like... Chip City, here we come. Yeah. You, can, you can speed this part up if you want. Like, go in later in the editing and be like, eh, this isn't going to take ten minutes. Nah, this will we'll, take one. We'll, we'll keep it. Well, okay, here's... So what we could do is we could actually just start the question of the day. I got it. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's let's do the question of the day. What's the question of the day? Hmm, I don't know. What is the question of the day? Uh, uh, bodies as obstacles. Uh, what games does it really work for on both a thematic level and on a mechanical level? Because um, there are some games like... Uh, Darkest Dungeon, where the clearing the corpses becomes like a mechanical problem. The, the only issue that I have with that, see, we haven't done the Darkest Dungeon playthrough yet. We will eventually, but the only issue that I have with that is that your character corpses don't present an ed a problem for the enemies. It treats them as if they always are killed by blight or bleed or like oh, a critical hit. So, I don't know. Hmm. We've been playing a lot of Darkest Dungeon. Great <laughs> game. The playthrough is coming. Um, we're gonna pull back before they regroup. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's up to you. Ah, we're gonna kill a few more as they flee. <laughs> right. well, anyway, we will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching. <laughs>